Hi everyone, welcome to a Hatton's Model Railways live stream, the first one after Christmas. So hope you've had a great Christmas and welcome to the last week of 2020. But we're starting with a hot new release that you can see here today. We have the Mark 1 RBR Restaurant Buffet Coach. Justin from Hornby first released just before Christmas in 2020. This particular model is now available from us, as you can see here and it can be picked up now in a variety of different liveries. So we'll be covering some of the history of these particular vehicles, some of the information behind them too, and if you'd like to learn any more about these particular models, please ask your questions live in the chat, or do let us know what you'd like to have a look at as I have my close-up camera where I'll be able to show you some close-up items too. Otherwise, let's have a bit of a look at the history of this particular model today, as it is something that a lot of people have been waiting for as part of Hornby's Mark 1 range coming through. So let's head back into that particular history. So going right back to the end of the 1950s, early 1960s here, these vehicles weren't actually built as part of the first batch of these particular Mark 1s, the first Mark 1s going right back to the early 1950s. Initially, the K2 vehicles from the big four railway companies, such as the London Northeastern, London Midland Scottish, Southern Railway and the Great Western Railway were retained, with there being no plans to build any vehicles such as what we see here in model and real life form. There wasn't the demand for these particular vehicles and the coaches that were already out there did cover what demand was felt to be had. However, the 1950s were a time of great change, not only across the world, but on Britain's railways too. And these then started to change even further with the attitudes towards eating and drinking on tra trains changing in the post-war period. No longer were people looking to dine for hours on a train with several course meals. They were looking for cheaper and lighter and quicker options whilst they were traveling shorter journeys or maybe just as part of a longer express journey. And whilst the vehicles that went before this were fantastic with their restaurant capabilities, they weren't really capable of more of a buffet design, really. They didn't have the capability of handling a lot of these shorter and smaller meals there. So a design was felt to be needed. A couple of designs were actually thought up, one being purely a buffet type of vehicle that would cater for just the snacks, very light meals, sandwiches, etc., etc., and drinks such as hot and cold drinks too. And then the vehicles such as what we see here on the screen today became a reality too from 1957 onwards. And there was three trial vehicles built in 1957. This was the third phase of Mark 1 construction. So you can see how late they actually came within the development of the Mark 1 coach. If you want to find out a little bit more about the Mark 1 coach development, do head over to our YouTube channel. We have a video documenting the whole history of these particular vehicles on there too. So you had your free trial vehicles. All of these were proved an absolute success. They'd got the design right first time with the right amount of restaurant capabilities with cookers in there to provide lighter, cheaper meals, but also sitting space within these coaches too for the diners or even passers-by to sit in there also. So you could have at table service if you wish. So more coaches were built. There was 128 of these particular vehicles built between 1960 and 1962. And they were built by either Press Seal or Birmingham Railway and Carriage and Wagon Company too. So two builders building these particular designs introduced onto the UK's railways in the early 1960s, mainly being formed as part of longer distance trains, such as cross-country duties or express trains, which didn't have their own dining cars already. So as we've mentioned, these could still provide a full catering service for cheaper and lighter meals, but could also satisfy the demand for lighter snacks, teas and coffees, etc., etc. too. So they really were a great middle ground for that 1950s changeover to people wanting smaller meals when they were traveling on trains. So the coaches were introduced to were used all across the UK, as we can see here in a variety of liveries. We have the initial BR Maroon, which made itself known on all of the regions. But we see here with the SC branding for the Scottish region. 
And then, of course, a number of the regions gained their own colour schemes too. And one of those we'll take a very close look at shortly, but I'll give you a little preview of now. is right in front of me here. And this is the southern region green coach that we can see on the screen right now. There were also a small number of western region coaches painted in their chocolate and cream livery too. Heading into the corporate era, the coaches became part of the blue and grey fleet, seen here with another of Hornby's Mark 1s and a Heldron Class 33 in front of me, still used on a lot of the similar duties that we have mentioned. Even with the introduction of Mark 2 coaches, there was no Mark 2 catering vehicle that was built at the same time as the Mark 2s. So a lot of these Mark 1 coaches were then upgraded to work alongside the Mark 2 coaches that came in. This upgrade started in around 1977. British Rail realised that these coaches would be around for quite a while yet, and it did need some refurbishment to bring them up to the standard of the Mark II air conditions that were running at the time. So many of the coaches were upgraded over this period, gaining a new diagram number of 32 and a designation of RBR, which stands for Restaurant Buffet Game. So they were brought into the network, upgraded and worked alongside a lot of the duties into the 1980s too. With the Mark III coaches coming into traffic at the early 1980s for the loco hauled versions, some of these did have specific Mark III catering vehicles. So the Mark I RBRs did head down to the secondary duties from this point, still on a lot of cross country and secondary express duties right through to the 1990s when some of their last workings were seen on routes such as Liverpool Street to Norwich running out of London and indeed along the North Wales coast to Hollyhead too. They were by this time painted in the intercity livery mainly that we see here but the final withdrawal for these vehicles came around the mid-1990s with the arrival of the converted Mark II buffet vehicles that were being made at the time to fit in with the cross-country services where these coaches were last operating so a replacement was converted there from the mark twos it wasn't the end of the story for these coaches though many have found a very useful place in preservation being able to have a movable catering vehicle which can be formed as part of dining trains or as a completely separate attraction and several too have remained again as part of rail tours again providing a very useful catering service on these prestige trains that travel across the country so you can still see them out there now they're from a little bit more fewer and further between there's certainly not 128 of them anymore but you can still see them out there in the 21st century and of course with this brand new hornby model you can replicate their entire lives too so we have eight initial releases so far some of these are already selling out, so I would recommend heading over to our website description. If you click the link in the description there, sorry, and you'll find more information on what we have available right now. They are all £31.50 each for all of the vehicle styles you see here. We have two running numbers for each vehicle available, covering the initial BR Maroon livery that we see on the screen there. This particular version covering the Western region numbering. We have the Southern Region's green colour scheme, as we can see. This covers the mid to late 1960s and would run as part of some of the prestige trains on the routes there too. We've got the blue and grey. This is when the red stripe came in to indicate a catering vehicle on this particular type too. So we can see the buffet restaurant there. These particular vehicles running again with a Midland Region designation. So fantastic view north wales coast or west coast modelers and finally the intercity color scheme which was used again as part of some of the cross-country services working alongside mark ii coaches but also on some charters around this time too so let's get a bit of a closer look at this model i'll bring the southern region model up to the front here for you first so we can get a bit of a closer look just get that in a, a good angle for you there so this, as you can see, has got the correctly blanked off windows for where the kitchen part of the vehicle is that you can see. This also has the uses Hornby's Commonwealth bogey tooling, as is correct for these and most of the catering vehicles. You have the NEM couplings, which is standard for Hornby's Mark 1s at the front there. And you have the correct oval buffers on these vehicles too. 
You'll also notice the absence of some of the steps on the end. This is correct for the initial vehicles as built. I will be honest, I'm not 100% sure as to whether this is 100% accurate for the vehicles in their later lives, but it's fantastic to see Hornby go into the detail of adding the correct steps onto the end of the cars too. You can see here the full buffet restaurant car lettering picked out in the correct Gil Sands font, as is the same with the kitchen car lettering there too. And you have all the correct roof vents, the many additional roof vents for not only the lighting, but also the kitchen equipment in the vehicle there too. You also can just about see it. You've got a full interior, not only for the catering section, but also the kitchen section there too. I'll just bring across the intercity livery. I know a lot of you have been looking at this one. Hornby have amended the colours on this particular vehicle since the initial decorated sample we saw a number of months ago now. And they have corrected the colour of the bottom stripe there to the correct buff colour to match not only with the Mark II coaches, but at the same time, they also do match with the various other intercity mainline locomotives that out, are out there in various ranges from other suppliers, including Hornby 2. So you can fit one of these straight into your rake, whether it's the Hornby or Backman Mark 2s, or indeed other Mark 1 coaches that are out there and available. And Hornby have got the colours spot on for all the different vehicles that you see here, right down to the little details too. And we go back to our intercity coach there, which going to the dogs, I think he's got it spot on for everyone there, saying this looks really nice. And I fully agree with you there, actually. You can see the level of detail that they've gone to with the correct transport font lettering on the restaurant buffet section. But also, as we commented there, you've got the white, you've got the red stripe, sorry, denoting the catering vehicle that we have here too. You've got fully flush glazed windows on there and Hornby have tooled up. Again, you get more and more details under the underframe on one of these than you do on your standard coach. So Hornby have correctly tooled up for those and also provided the correct darker gray or black color for the roof on this particular intercity version too. So there's many great ways you can get these onto your layout. As we've mentioned already, they make a perfect part of a set of an express train, certainly from the 1960s onwards, maybe an interregional working with other Mark 1s or some of the early expresses to work along the West and East Coast main lines during the 1960s. We may see a Western region livery version coming from Hornby in the future. And if we do, we'll certainly have that on our website. So click the link in the description if you are watching a little later and you can see all the liveries that we currently have available for these vehicles. But they really do have a long life. As we mentioned towards the start of the video in the history, they were built in the 1960s, but a very small number of these vehicles are still in use on the main line now. They are still in use as part of some of the various charter services that operate across the UK. But otherwise, a Mark 1 catering vehicle has been a model that's been quite hard to come by for some time. We have had the mini buffet vehicle, which is purely a, buff purely a buffy counter service provided by the British Rail Company from the mid 1960s onwards. But for a vehicle with full catering, this is something that has been sought after for a while. The last model available, I believe, was the Replica Railways model from the early 1990s, which was a fantastic model for its time. But it's great to see a 21st century model of these particular coaches coming through now in this particular style. I'll just show you the maroon version there. Just give you a close up of that last one before we go. And you can see there again, Hornby have got the shade of maroon there absolutely spot on, in my opinion. You've also got the correct Gil Sands font on the coach sides here. And again, just showing there the detail with the Commonwealth bogies and the extra underframe detail on these models too. If you do want to see some more high definition photos, you can head straight over to our website where we have a lot more close up images of all eight of the releases so far. 
As said, some are selling out very, very quickly. So do head over to our website if you'd like to pick one up. We have two versions available in each livery. The sole difference is the running number. Otherwise, all the details on the vehicles are exactly the same. So if you want two, one for each rake that you have that you want one of these for, you can certainly add them on, but do be quick to make sure you pick one up. I believe we're already sold out of one of the maroon vehicles and the others are heading out fast. But no doubt we'll see more from Hornby in the future. And if we do, we'll always have the latest information on our website. That includes re-releases of the four liveries that we're showing here. And as Oscar has mentioned there, we may be picking up the chocolate and cream version of the BR's Western region. This may be something that comes through in the future. So do have a look on our website for the latest availability and the latest models that are coming through. So I hope you've enjoyed this little preview. I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of the history. All of these models are available right now for £31.50 each, and that matches in with the rest of the Hornby Mark I range. You can see here, I'll just move my Intercity coach out of the way for a second. They match absolutely perfectly with other vehicles from Hornby's range, and they do sit very well against other manufacturers' Mark Ones out there too. So I really do recommend having a closer look at one of these. Maybe it is the final piece in your Mark 1 collection. You have your first class, standard class and brake vehicles. You just needed your catering vehicle to get your rake fully complete. And now is your chance to do it. I really would recommend having a closer look at these particular vehicles. So I hope you've enjoyed today's preview. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the four vehicles and more besides that you can see here on the screen right now. If you want to find out any more, please do leave a comment under the video and we'll answer as many questions as we can there too. If you want to find out even more than that, don't hesitate to get in touch with our customer experience team who are always on hand to help you, whether it's via email, live chat on our website or over the telephone too. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook pages for more Model Railway previews for all the latest model railway news and of course our skills cast sessions too otherwise thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time take care